So I was able to fix the issue, and this is what I did. Okay, so let's bring back the uh, the guide mesh. I took the guide mesh. Let me just hide this one real quick. I took the guide mesh, and if you remember, we had a uh, vertex going on over here around the middle. All right, so there's a vertex sitting right over around this side. Okay, so around here, all I did was I added in a new vertex by pressing Ctrl and R, and that is this vertex you're seeing here. This one. This, I mean, I added a new edge loop, and that is this edge loop you're seeing here. And then I pulled that edge loop to be quite outside. You can see I pulled it out to be quite close to these ones. You can see as much how far it is from this. And then all I did was I dissolved the one in the middle. All the ones in the middle between this and that one, I dissolved all of it. Okay, so I dissolved all of those ones, and I just pressed Ctrl and R through here, in the middle here. So for example, if I dissolve these two real quick, just press Ctrl and R2 here and add it in two, like that, and you can see that gave me what I needed. So you can also do that and then use that, and then after that, after I did that, all I did was I brought back the mesh, this one, and I took everything except for the ones behind here, because you can see we added it in the vertex group here, so I just clicked on select, and I pressed Ctrl and I to hide the others, so I took all of this, got to the side, press G, hold Ctrl and press Enter, and then that stick it to the face for me so i didn't use the shrink wrap modifier at all but you should have you can see it sticking out a little bit that is fine it's not a problem at all and you can keep things going now so i'm going to take this and hide it i'm going to edit mode of this press alternate to bring everything back and that you can see fixes the problem hopefully you guys are able to do that i didn't want to have to do that all over again in the video because i managed to fix this and i didn't want to have to lose that again so yeah let's get on with this now so what I'm going to do now is to take, let me get to the side view, and <clears throat> let's take the very one at the top, alright? So what we're going to do now is we're going to press, let me get to front view, uh, let me just press Alt and H now, and let's get out to local view, alright? So let's press the division, I mean, let's get out to global view, let's press the division sign to get to global view. Now I'm going to take this one, I'm going to move it to the guide meshes area, but first let's rename it. Let's call it the uh, rims, rims guide, and now let's press M. Let's move it to the guide meshes area. Now let's take all of this. Let's get onto the front view. I'm gonna pull this out in the x axis like this. First off, let's bring that guide mesh again. All right, so let's show everything. Let's let's bring that rims guide. Let's just bring it back. So just make sure that rims guide is enabled like that. And let's enable the guide meshes. So I'm going to take both of those and get into what frame. I'm going to take both of these. Let's get to front view. Let's pull this out to about this point. All right, so you can see it pulls in a little bit. So it's not going to be outside of that tire at all. So I'm going to pull it in a little bit to about this point due to the bulginess of the tire on the edge. So I think this area should be good. Around here should be good. Is that not true? Okay, I have to pull it in a little bit more. Just pull it in a little bit more to about here. Alright, so with that done, now we can hide it. We can hide the guide meshes again. Now, let's take this one. It's going to edit mode. I'm going to take the outer ones that we have going on there. I want to press E and then X and extrude this all the way in to about the same distance we have on this side. Like that. You can see that is looking good so far. And. What we're going to do now is let's take all of this, press N, and let's increase the bevel weight on that also to a full one, like that. You can see that is looking good so far. Uh, let's get to front view. Let's see. I think the distance is quite the same as the one we have going on here. So all that we're going to do now is to press F to fill in the faces. Let's go to local view. Alright, so let's press the division sign. Let's go to local view. Let me get on to the other side by holding down control and pressing number 3. To get to the other side, and so I just press if you press three, gets you to this side. So I just press control and number three to get me to this side. And what I want to do now is I want to press I to insert the faces, I just press I to insert the faces like that, and let's insert it to about there, all right? So almost on top of the area we have on the other side, like that. I want to press X and delete the faces again. So we're going to take all these ones now and also add them to the, uh, where is it, yeah, the bevel, 
weight like that. Now I'm going to take all of this. I'm going to press E and then X. Extrude it all the way to the inside here. And again, let's take this one. Add it to the weight. Like that. And let's get onto the side. Let's take all of this. Let's pull into that area very nicely. And I'm going to take this vertex over here, right? Make sure we have pivoting point set to active element. I want to press S and then X and type in 0. So it's flat against it like that. So with that done, all that we're going to do now is to take, let me see. I don't know if this will work, but hopefully it does. First off, let's take 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's press F. Let's take these two. Let's press F all the way to the bottom, to there. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing to all of the sides. So I'm, I might actually time lapse this out. Alright, so once you have all of that done, now we're going to take all of these vertices around the whole thing, that is around the whole circle, like that. We're going to take it, I'm going to take these ones as well. And let's press on a space and type in bridge. I'm going to select bridge edge loops to bridge the spaces very nicely like that. So all that I'm going to do now is to go in here, take all this, let's add it to the bevel weight. So just increase it to 1, like that. And let's take a look at that. So you can see that is looking good so far. Now all that I'm going to do now is to go in here, I'm going to take all of these, okay? So let me just take a look at this real quick. So what we're going to do now is, uh, let me get to the side, and let me see. Let me get back to global view. I think we left our reference image there, so let me get to the side view. We have this one right here. So we're going to take that, go into local view again. Let's take this, let me take a look. So we're going to go in here. And let me just press let me just press F to fill in the faces a little bit and I'll press I just insert it just a tiny bit like that. Press press X and delete the faces. And I'm gonna take all of this, press E and then X extrude it back all the way to the inside to about I don't know to about uh to about this point. Let's pull it out a little bit more. So to about this point right here, I think should be good. Let me pull it in a little bit more. So I think that should be good. So now I'm going to take all of these ones as well and add it to the uh, bevel weight. So let's increase that fully. So I mean bevel weight, increase that fully to there. And you can see that is looking good so far. Actually, let me take all of these ones out of the bevel weight and let me add in a loop cut or supporting edge loop instead. So I don't want to add those ones in. And I'll explain why maybe in another video. So let's just let's let's just do this now. So we have uh, I think we have the same amount of vertices here, 15, 15. So it should be quite good. But first, before I do this, before I fill this in, oh, uh, you know, what, let's fill it in right away. All right. So let's press space and select bridge edge loops. So it fills it in very nicely for us. So this is what I wanted to fix now. So we're gonna add in the loop cut, pull it all the way here. And we're gonna select this one. Press S and then X and type in zero, like that. All right, to confirm it, and I'm gonna take all of this, and I'm gonna add it to the bevel weights. So just increase it to one, like that. And let me see. Let me go in here and make sure the space is quiet enough. And it is. So you can see what we have. Very nice. So I'm gonna take all the edges in the middle here. All of these ones. So it's going to be a problem selecting. So we're going to select all those 14 that goes around this. I'm going to apply the edges to them. So I'm going to skip this one. Let me go to edge select mode. I mean, not skip, say. Okay, yeah, maybe skip. I'm going to skip the selection. And I'm going to just jump all the way to where we apply it. So let's do this. All right, so I'm going to assume you also have all of them selected. Just the way I have right now. You can see in one frame, they're just the edges we have going on here. And now let's press N. And let's increase the... Uh, mean bevel weight of that all the way to 1 just to add some bevel to that area very nicely as you can see right now so I'm just going to press Ctrl and R through here I'm going to pull this back some more like that and that should be looking good as you can see it's looking very nice and that will pretty much do it for this one 
I mean eventually we're gonna have to cut out a space over here for the holes we'll be creating on top of these which we haven't done yet so uh, for now we're gonna keep things the way they are right now until we do that so I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll actually be creating the holes for the rim uh, and hopefully it's easy I know it won't be quite easy because they are disproportional than the uh, main rim because they're in different areas because if they were in a proportional places like places where you can actually cut it in one place and just duplicate around it would have been easy but that is not the case so it might actually take some time or probably a whole video to do that one but the main rim is actually finished now the only thing we have left is this uh, logo we have sitting in the middle but yeah the main rim is actually finished now and I'll see you guys in the next video but I also want to take a look at something let's let's press ctrl and z to the point where we have all of those edges selected all right i want us to pull it in a little bit more because i don't like the way it's it's sitting it's sitting very close to the edge so i'm going to select everything like we have right now i want to pull it inside a little bit more all right so we're going to pull it in in the x-axis a little bit more to about this point i don't know if that is enough I think it might be. Yeah, so that should be enough. That should be enough. Like that. Should be. It absolutely should be enough. So I'm going to go over here now. I'm going to take all the ones over here as well. You can see now they're sitting way too inside. I want to make sure one of the vertex here is the active selection. That is this one. Press S and then X and type in 0 and make it flat like that very nice so there we go you can see the rim is looking very nice just like the one we have going on here all that we have to create now is the holes and the logo and in this area here you can see there's a, a, a quite a small space here that fills we can actually do that very easily with the vertex we have going on here we just have to add in one vertex in the area here and use that to create it very nicely so that won't be a problem either and I will see you guys in the next video. Let me just save this real quick. This is gonna be this is gonna look so nice when we finish it. Yeah, it's gonna look so so nice. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.